The story, a new chapter by Tamsila Ao, is set in the backdrop of the indo naga war times. On one side, there was the Indian army, while on the other hand, there was these underground forces. There was also a certain class of people of the Naga society who emerged as the third force in power. A new chapter is about the life of Bendang Nungsang, who struggled to grow his social status and position in the society and achieved his dreams of becoming rich and powerful. A new chapter talks about how he changed from his old lifestyle to a new one, moved on to a new chapter in life. The three major characters are Bendang Neng Sang, Pumpkin Mern La, and Bandari. Bendang Neng Sang was a second grade contractor who could not complete his college education all his brothers and sisters were holding high post in government jobs. Though he was not educationally qualified for high post in government jobs, he was an egoistic person uh, who would not do small clerical jobs that were offered to him. Though he had nothing, he wanted to be the money maker of the family. He started selling vegetables and livestock to the army. He was hardworking, diligent, and worked with sincerity. He bought vegetables from his distant cousin, Merla, who was a widow with two children. So in a way, he was also helping the poor widow through business. He also gave new seeds to Merla to grow. He also made a pact that he would buy all the pumpkins that she grew. Later, Bandang Neng Sang or Neng Sang met Bandari, who was also well known for his extraordinary achievements in business. He suggested Neng Sang to be deceitful and take the wrong path to make bigger money. Neng Sang was tempted by the sound of getting richer and confronted the army officials who also agreed to help him. This shows corruption in the military as well as in the civil society. Through this, we see the power of money. Money plays a vital role in bringing power and prestige in this ever-changing political and social scenario. Neng Sang slowly changes from a responsible character and diligent character into an irresponsible one. He even refused to pay the dry fish wholesale dealer Abdul and also other traders because his brother-in-law was a first-class magistrate who could instantly cancel their inner line permit. He starts to wrongly use his connections, money, and power. He turned from a simple diligent man to a power-hungry, proud, and irresponsible character. Neng Sang even negotiated with the area commander to avoid paying taxes. As all his other brothers and sisters held high government posts, he emotionally manipulates them to solve his problems. He somehow forces his eldest brother to find a job for the underground boss's dropout son. Neng Sang later joins politics and his family also supported this idea because he had supporters from even the ruling party. Later, he became an MLA. We see the importance of prestige and power. The support that we get when we have money and power and prestige. Bandari is the other major character in uh, a new chapter who had also helped Neng Sang from the start and had continued to support him till he was uh, elected in politics. But Bandari was not helping Neng Sang for his selfish means or other monetary benefits. But for the introduction of a bill, to recognize his tribe as an indigenous tribe of Nagaland. Bandari is a cunning character, but also we see how he is not selfish because he helps Neng Sang not for his selfish motives, but the betterment of his tribe and his people. Neng Sang was supported by Bandari when he was a simple vegetable seller and even when he joined politics, Bandari convinced his people to vote for him. Bandari helped Neng Sang to climb the social ladder. And as he climbed higher, he forgot about Mern La. He promised Mern La that he would buy all her pumpkins. And she helped Mern La for some time, and for which she was later famously called Pumpkin Mern La. She was betrayed by Bandang Neng Sang after he found a new status and new prestige because he stopped buying her pumpkins and in that way her business failed but she realized that traditional teachings and family ties and even business obligations are thrown in the mud where money power and prestige is concerned she throws away all her pumpkins signifying or symbolizing the fact that she was leaving her old life behind to start a new chapter in her life as a cleaner
So in this way, the writer Tim Selaau portrays how the Naga society was moving from a traditional and cultural form to a new chapter to modernism in a way she talks about how naga society was moving towards modernism and embracing the new types new style of living new lifestyle but on the other hand it is also sad to see that the naga culture was vanishing the traditional ways and the family ties were vanishing here tamsila out does not portray the new chapter as a beautiful chapter a good chapter or an evil one but still slowly and certainly the naga society was moving towards a new chapter she portrays how the society was leaving behind the love affection and ties and uh, family and responsibility or the good side of tradition and the good side of uh, naga culture and running after a new way of life of prestige, power, money, and higher social class through the story of Bendang Nengsang. There was a short discussion of Temsela's A New Chapter. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.